Salutations everyone and welcome to our live reaction to the new Nintendo console. So let's just jump right on into it. Hi. And he's here. And I'm about to have our attack because I'm... Okay, so... Hopefully your Wi-Fi holds out. Let's see if I Okay. I'm a little bit farther. Well. Okay, hmm. so doggy Whoa. doggy. Nintendo Switch. That's a name. Hello, this looks different. Hmm. Why does this look badass? Why does it actually look like a great thing? This music is amazing. Hopefully it's not like I rated. And this console, I'm so down. This looks good. Solid screen. Oh. I mean, it's a, and they're doing cartridges. Like SD card cartridges. All these rumors are coming true. Gaming? Nope, gaming. They don't have streaming, I'm sorry. Gaming, not here. Yo. That's different. It's like, colors. Um. Ooh. My simple home controller. What game is that, though? That looks like Skyrim almost. And those switch, though. So it will play Wii U games. That's good. This is a great idea for console. It's like, take the gamepad, make it portable, and make it HD. And it's amazing. This, I, I love it. I think I love it. Sports game. Definitely you can see on the Wii U. It's like, Mario something, some kind of Mario Sports game. This looks amazing. That might be the that's the new Mario game or is that Mario Sports game? This looks great though. <laughs> this, is a, this, looks, this looks great. They, I, I want to see the release date. I want to see the price point. Like download logo. Um, eSports. We eSports. Better Splatoon. That was happening. Better Splatoon. Or they like Splatoon 2. Maybe Splatoon 2. Yeah, because that's not the hairstyle for the usual Splatoon bro. I, mean, I know they're more buying custom hair tiles, but what? Nintendo Switch. March 7, 2017. No price point? Nope. Nothing. Nothing. Except some copyright stuff at the end. Uh huh. Fun. I'm excited. I'm uh -huh. more than excited. Yeah, this looks. This. I'm buying this day release. No doubt about it. Um, Nintendo Switch. That's a different name. Um, I'm so glad they um are getting rid of the um, Wii title, because that was so, uh, it's it's a good thing, because people were confused about the Wii U, and so it's like, just calling it something completely different, works, and it's better for marketing, it's better for everything overall, I don't even know how the camera looks, because I did not even check beforehand, but yes, I am excited, and it is the handheld home console hybrid of sorts, there might be a more dedicated handheld like down the line but for now this this can cover both bases and it makes me happy okay i know you said you probably won't buy one of these because you don't do console gaming but doesn't it look cool at least it's different i feel like stuff is gonna get lost easy it's like a man 
Imagine losing your stylus, and you can go pick up some plastic ones of those, but imagine losing the controllers. Mm. I'm sure... <laughs> that they, would suck. They, I feel like they would sell, um, like, replacement controllers. And then those flat screens. You mm -hmm. drop one of those, shattered. I mean, people have had phones for a long time. I think they know how to handle a flat screen. Uh, no. Or I, I feel like some people would. Is it? Go back a little bit. Go back a little bit. Too mm. far. That's controller school, though. It's really small. If that's a D-pad, that'd be hard as hell to use. That's probably not a D-pad. They're probably just going straight to only uh, joysticks. Um, let's play out with it. Play that one bit here. Maybe show. I saw like a, like a Mario Go Kart on a building. Yeah. Okay, right there. Is. Um, that could be like pointing at like Mario Kart Nine. Which would be cool, because these carts look completely different than Mario's regular go kart of choice. Looks like just a regular go kart. Yeah. Kind of has the uh, hmm, Mario color scheme. Mhm. Mm I am just too excited and like playing like a game like Breath of the Wild, which is like the basically the biggest game on Wii U. So it's a, even at that point, it's still like a massive game, like. And being able to do that like portable on a screen that is either 1080 or at least 720, like that's gonna be like that screen looks stupid nice. And they took the gamepad and made it portable and made it so you can go more than like 20 feet away from the Wii U. That so that's great. I don't see any place to put anything in. The cartridges are on top. They showed them sliding one in when Where's the. That? They were in the airport. Uh, let's see, where is that? I probably skipped it. That's um, the end. No, it's not. Yeah, um, somewhere in here. This looks you for the, uh, oh no, they don't show it on this. Yeah. Um, I want to just keep skipping, but yeah, at the airport, let's hit play. Um, yep, side the car right on top. What does it look like? It, it's, Seems like a very small card, so probably just like an SD card. Hard to get a clear frame of it. So they're gonna be all digital, and you have an SD card with all your games on it. Or I mean, the games could be on SD card uh, sized carts because like that is a good way to do it because those are cheap as hell to manufacture and you can hold incredible amounts of storage, and they're really fast at loading. Let's try like slow this down and see if we can get like a tiny better look at the cart. Um. <laughs> He's walking over, hmm. and yeah, basically it looks like the size of an SD card. Yeah. Which, I mean, games can get lost easy because people lose SD cards really easy. Oh, yeah. But if you can in their case, then there's no problem with that. Because you, you could lose a 3DS game pretty easy because they're still incredibly small. They're like that big. So you can lose them real fast. Mm -hmm. um, I'm just checking through the internet to see if there is... Um, any bonus information? Oop, there's an Amber Alert, apparently. That's not what I'm looking for. Amber Alert. Who um. Wow. Mine goes on for a long time. <laughs> mine, just, mine didn't even vibrate to it. I'm sorry for her, whoever is lost, but I'm I'm more excited for this. Yeah, I, I feel like an asshole for saying I that. I don't think you should be more excited for an Amber Alert. I'm, I'm, more, <laughs> I'm sorry, that probably sounds like a really terrible thing to say. But I just love how this looks, and I'm so excited moving forward. Um, I have no. I just this looks like a Skyrim kind of game right here. So like, I feel like Skyrim's on everything already. So like, remaster Skyrim on an X, because Nintendo might be getting that third party support from like everybody, because this might be a good console. Like, I I'm I'm too happy. Looks really small. Yeah. Um looks like it's the size of a D pad. Mm hmm. Or not the D pad, sorry, the um the pad that we already have now. The, the D pad. The game pad? Yeah, sure, whatever it's called. Looks like the size of that. Yeah, but it's like thinner. No, I'm talking about the console. Oh the console itself, the, oh not yeah. The, controller. the console is freaking puny. But oh here's a whole I'm gonna I'll throw this up on the screen right now if I can. Or else, actually, no, just try to show the camera. 
Um, this is gonna look funky for a sec, but um, let's turn that off. Uh, order. Uh, t uh you know what? I'm. Just, uh, this is terrible live editing, but right here, here's this picture. Here's everything you need to know. Um, let's see the game card right there. They are tiny as hell. Quality isn't amazing because we're going are showing a fun screen on anything never looks great. But here's all the little tidbits. Basically, we got ourselves the console, which is more... The console itself is the screen. And then the thing is just a, it's got a dock to, compute, to connect it to your TV, which is... It's a good idea, I would say. Um, game card, SD card size, like you can see right there. Um, and then apparently they're calling that middle piece like a Joy-Con grip or something like that. Don't exactly know. Um, yeah, that, that looks like a brand new Mario game, which I'm down, because Mario games are always great. Um, the Pro Controller, because everybody loves Pro Controllers, because they're actually got great controllers. Here's the Switch Pro Controller, which is great. Looks pretty similar to the, um, Wii U Pro Controller, but also looks better, because it has more buttons, and it looks like there's more things you can do on it. Maybe there's, like, the, like, how... The PS4 has like the share button to share and to like different websites. Maybe Nintendo might be adopting that idea because that's a, actually a good idea. Mm, yeah. Um. Apparently, um. I can say the only thing that is a design flaw for me mm -hmm. is the tiny ass controllers that come with the thing. Yeah, they're definitely not. I to figure cannot. Out. I will not be able to do that very well. I'm assuming that if you. I've adapted to the 3DS, mm -hmm. but. They're out this way. I'm assuming are here, buttons are out here. But if I have to do this, I'm assuming that you can still connect a couple of pro controllers to it while you're on the go, or you could use those. Like basically, you have a choice. Like with multi Nintendo consoles, you have a choice of how you want to play. Like you, for like a lot of like Wii U games, you can like use a Wii Mote, the Game Pad, or the Pro Controller. Something like you can use either these, which they're calling Joy Cons, which is a name because it stands for Joy Controller, basically because joystick and controller. Sure. Um, so there's a left and right one. Yeah. Get your game around. So you can you can share with friends. Um, but I'm assuming you can connect the two pro controllers to like two pro controllers. I'm assuming this will have. You can connect. Well, no, I'm about to say some real dumb. I was about to say I'm assuming you can connect like the gamepad to it. But there's like no point to that. Um, I mean Nintendo doesn't like it just like throwing away their old controllers, which is why you could use like um. GameCube controllers on the Wii, and then Wii controllers on the Wii U, and then maybe there might be gamepad support for who knows why. I mean, we can see they played Wii U games, so there might be... Yeah, when you look at that, uh, so of course, um, the GameCube was the last um, Nintendo console to actually have Wait, the wired no, in I'm stuff. actually, I'm actually wrong, this is not Mario Kart 8. This is a new Mario Kart. They have two different items. Marker 8 only had what you only got one item, but see there there's two different items New Mario Kart. Sorry for cutting you off, but I just got excited um, Mario Kart. GameCube is the last console that should be wired in mm -hmm. um, But they did have an adapter for You to connect your GameCube controllers to mm -hmm. for smash and stuff like that mm -hmm. Where are we gonna be able to connect those in if they were if they ever make those available, I wonder where the port would be. Let's see, would it be I on the console or would it be on the touchpad? Looks like all there really is at the top is a place for the game cart. Um, Some breathing holes. Yeah, because of course it needs to be ventilated or else it'll overheat real fast. And um, a headphone a, jack. Yeah, headphone jack. It looks like it's all it's got up top. So I mean, they might just be abandoning the game controller once and for all. They make a wireless GameCube controller. I mean, they had one before. They could do it again. Um, because people love the design of the GameCube controller, because it's one of the best controllers ever made. Nintendo, Nintendo controllers, barring the Wiimote and the mixed opinions on the gamepad, but, like, the Pro Controller, the GameCube controller, N64 controller, all the way back, they've been great. Um, Wiimote was okay. Mm -hmm. I mean, for It reminds me, it's, it's literally one of those, but not smaller. <laughs> They're not they're great. There's, there's, just, there's just something about having a bar mm -hmm. instead of having, like, 
instead of I doing this do, could, and then doing this. There's not grip to the Wiimote. Yeah. It just doesn't feel right. Yeah. But I am so down for all of this. Because Especially as a kid I could never I could never turn off um the um uh, not the sensitivity, but you know, the, what's it called? I'm so, it's so early for me. Mm -hmm. The uh, motion controls. Oh. Um, and you could actually play Mario Kart with the motion controls. Mm -hmm. And I'd always be like using the buttons to do it. And then I'd like turn a little bit and my guy would fly at the thing. I'm like, what the? Why is this doing this? I don't understand. I'm playing Mario Kart. Why is this happening to me? Yeah. God, I'm, I am care about cameras. There we go. Let's do that. Okay. Keep it there. I did that. I didn't even touch it. Yeah, no, I... Now you touched it. Okay. I'm terrible at cameras. Especially when I didn't really set up, I just hit record. Yeah. That was a rude awakening. Mm hmm But The this... logo just... I don't know. It reminds me of the Domino's logo. I mean, I can kind of see it, because Domino's logo is a square, square with circles dots. in it. <laughs> Let's look at what comments are saying on the YouTube. Nintendo, uh oh I don't think you want to. Um, I can play Skyrim in a taxi. All I needed in my life was ability to play Skyrim whenever I wanted. So does so, Skyrim. Yeah. They should do a name the Nintendo. That would have been, <laughs> oh, that would have been a funky name. Let's go back or turn the monitor. Oh, let's just turn the camera off. And, of course, minimize. Um, Nintendo Switch, aka what should have been the Wii U. That is true. Mm. I mean, also rip handheld gaming. Now you can play both Pokemon and Zelda Breath of the Wild in the same console. Mm-hmm. I mean, technically this is still handheld gaming. If you're holding in your hands in your gaming. Um, battery life, that is that could be an issue, but Oh yeah. Hopefully Ooh. They've, um, Where the fuck would the uh you don't just have to dock it? I feel like there's there all be like a thing for like a like a three D S charger. But like why would that. anybody dock it then? I mean dock it when you're at home, because I feel like the docking is how you connect it to your T V. So you can see the game on your screen. The battery might be. They have a plan. I'm the we the um Dude. the gamepad battery is ass, but 3ds battery is not terrible. Sure. Um. The what? The 3ds battery? It's not terrible. Oh God, it'll die immediately. Because you keep yours on bright, the complete brightness all the time. Yeah, as you should. Mm. If you're playing a console, uh, that's supposed to have the great graphics for Pokemans. Mm -hmm. Why the fuck would you put on dim lighting? That's stupid. Mm-hmm. So look at it in its full glory. Don't be stupid. No, I'm probably dumb. Mm -hmm. Splatoon 2 confirmed. Too Let's bad that we're not going to get play it because of World War 3. Oh, okay. That's an irrelevant <laughs> comment. Get lucky if you don't want to lose the controllers. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm sure... Like, how Apple is doing the AirPods, yeah. and you lose those... <laughs> This is the year of losing stuff, guys. Yeah, and you can buy another one. I'm sure you can buy another controller if you have to. <laughs> Imagine. Imagine that. Losing the one controller. It's like, oh, God. Mm -hmm. Rather use the left one. Or lose the left one. I can't use that anyway. Mm -hmm. So that means there's two joysticks in this. Ooh! Thing. New Yorker Ooh. has King Boo. Cam my camera's not on. God damn it. Switch back. This, I'm sorry, this is probably a terrible video, but King Boo! King Boo's cool. I like King Boo. Um, looking at um, looking at Twitter, these people seem to be good with this. Um, some some a lot of developers announced that they're doing development for the Switch. Some of them include like big names like let's see, Activision, like uh, Activision's like Call of Duty. I think could be wrong. I'm, I don't like I'll tell Heroes of the Storm, guys. Heroes of the Storm. Okay. I believe, I believe it's the like WoW and stuff. Mm. Um, Bandai because Bandai Namco is always supported Nintendo. Um, Bandai Bethesda. Toy Company. What? Bandai to Toy Company. Bandai Namco though, like Pac Man. Oh. Um, Capcom follows Nintendo a lot. Uh oh. Uh, Bethesda though, Bethesda like Doom. Because we could be getting like every EA Arts. Or Electronic Arts, it's EA Sports, but Electronic Arts, probably because it's the basketball game we saw. Um, let's see, Koi Tecmo, which made, um, Koi Tecmo made Hyrule Warriors, which was a great game. Um, Konami, 
So we could get Metal Gear. I, th I think Metal Gear might have already been on a Nintendo console once in his life. Yeah, it had to be because Snake was in Smash. I stand corrected. He was right. Call of Duty. Yeah. Um, and Destiny. Ooh, Destiny. Ooh. 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 <laughs> Hey, um, Justin, what? now you cannot say anymore, if Call of Duty comes to this, that Call of Duty players are stupid and they should be, be, be playing Mario. Because now they can do both. We even talked about last night seeing Mario in like a Call of Duty-esque game. Yeah. <laughs> it's coming to fruition. Um, Level 5, which made Yokai Watch, I do believe. Um, Platinum Games, which made Bayonetta. And, um, what is it called? Like... It's it's a Wii U game that I can't remember the title of because I never played it. Um, let's see. Sega. So, because we know the Sonic games are coming to it. Um, Square Enix. So, Final Fantasy back on Nintendo. Possibly. Telltale Games. So, we could get the Batman story game on Nintendo. Warner Brothers Interactive Gaming. Yeah, so, more Batman games. Um, Ubisoft. But they already announced that forever ago that they're supporting it. Um, that's just a few of them. Starbreeze. I think it's in Barbie Studios. I was like, uh oh. That's just a few of them that I recognize at least. There's a bunch of them though. There's, There's a, a bunch, bunch of, of them. them. But so, most of them are probably like um, smaller, you know, um, what's yeah. it called? The Nintendo store? Like indies and indies? Yeah, sure. No, no, no. Like the, um, mm -hmm. what's it called? What's the store called? Oh, the eShop? The eShop. Probably some of those free eShop or those, you know, dot mm -hmm. games that you can sit and play. Mm hmm. God, here I found somebody just made a GIF of 3D Mario, and I just want to show it real quick because this looks amazing. 3D Mario is it Mario always 3D? Like the new 3D Mario game, and it looks great. It's so colorful and Mario. This this has to be 1080p I do the and 60 frames per second. It has to be. They would not make it so it's not. It has to be, please. I mean the Wii U mostly. Don't done goof it up. The Wii U was mostly 720, 30 frames per second. It could do. Um, 1080 at 60, but, um... <laughs> if you wanted it to explode. It did not do it often. So this game, the only step up is to play it on, um... The, it, the only option is to make it 1080 at 60 per second for an upgrade. Um, hmm. like apparently within the game, or within the um, video, Bethesda was copyrighted at the end. So we did see a Bethesda game, and does Bethesda make Skyrim? I'm not 100% sure on that. Could yeah. Could be wrong. They do? I was just wrong with Activision, but I believe Bethesda does make Skyrim. The Elder Scrolls series. It's overheating a little bit. Let's pick it up for a second. Yeah, uh, it, it does that because it's just a laptop. I don't have anything that's great. Um, But... Holy shit. <laughs> Apparently the Nintendo website went down because of this. Like, just when people flooded it, it just went down. That's great. I mean, people are excited. Are those sunglasses, mm. That's what I'm excited about. Um, I'm excited about the dude's new sunglasses. <laughs> imagine... Okay, NVIDIA um, confirms that they are powering Nintendo Switch. That uh oh forever. NVIDIA tr uh, drive crashes. Cool. Um, that was a rumor that was forever ago. But it was a very powerful. They're um, doing what? It's the um, it's the it's just I don't remember what it's called. Every time I'm trying to think, and I'm just having like no memory. You said they're supporting something, right? They're powering it. Powering what? They're the graphics card in it. That's oh. what it is. And apparently, it's a very strong one. Uh oh, you're getting an NVIDIA graphics card. I mean, hopefully for, for a console that might be good. Get them all in NVIDIA crashes. <laughs> they're fun. Um, for a console, that might be good, though. For PC, maybe not so much, but for dedicated, um, <coughs> for dedicated, uh, a console, could be good. And Nintendo, or not Nintendo, Game Freak confirmed forever ago that they're going to make Pokemon games for the NX. Might not be main series games, because they might be sticking to the 3DS until this generation's over, like they do. Like, they stuck with the DS, even though 3DS was already out, with, uh, Black 2 and White 2. Um. I hope they do. Mm hmm Just so you can put off maybe having to buy one. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. But um it's just ah, I'm excited. Like I was not around 
like on the internet for the Wii U re- or um reveal, and you were late to the game. I didn't get internet until like three years ago, four years ago now maybe, but I I had to watch videos on demand from Comcast thanks to G4 to find out everything on the Wii U. But thanks for G4 for now I have video. now I have like <laughs> G4 is so dead. This here's a picture of all the developers. Just look at that. That the, there we go. Look at all of them. There's Can a I lot of them. them. Yeah, here we go. Um, but like I, this is the first time I've been like around and watching a lot a Nintendo console come out, and I'm I feel like a giddy little schoolgirl, to put it one way. All right, so it's confirmed. Nintendo console not supporting Nintendo developers anymore. Oh, shame. awesome! <laughs> Looks like Mario's going to our party. Yeah, yeah, we hear Mario <laughs> moves to a different console than we get all these games. I mean, but um, like, this could be the one thing that just like overhauls gaming as we know it. Because if you could get all Nintendo games, which people mostly love, there's of course people out there that don't really care for it. Plus, all the games you get on like Xbox and PlayStation on Nintendo. And like, why would you get the thing that gets everything compared to the things that only have their few exclusives? Because everything Nintendo makes is exclusive, and it's great. Hmm. Yeah, but there's also there are also few and far between. I feel Even like re- with releases. I feel like I mean not just for the Wii U. I feel like with this, they're gonna be trying real hard to get games pumping. Like they just showed they have a new Mario Kart in development, which is great. Um, they have a new Splatoon in development, Maybe. which is great. Maybe. Um, the only thing that you spotted was hair. I mean, yeah, but... It could I've, be. Okay, it could be Splatoon for the Wii U, but it could also be a new Splatoon development. Sure. Um, Mario Kart. Plus, with all these developers, the releases will not be few and far between. Like, this will be, like, a like a new game, like, every month next year. Like, a new, like, high-budget game, and not just, like, a new, like, oh, here's some indie titles. Like, this could be great. Um, also, some... Uh, on here it says that uh, DNA, which is the um, people who are making the mobile games, are working on this as well. Um, so we could get um, Mitomo for What was that Nintendo Switch. runner that was just to get this year? Oh, uh, Super Mario Run? Yeah. Yeah, that's first coming to the to Apple. They have exclusive first rights to it. Mm-hmm. And then it'll come to Android sometime next year. Possibly, if you just want to play a Super Mario Run game on the Switch, I'm, maybe you can do that too. Or maybe they'll be just making like brand new games for it. So do you think that that screen is going to be touchpad? I don't doubt it. I feel like it will be a they touchpad. I think they would show that, though. So there's nothing hiding that. Yeah, that's true. And they didn't show anything. They didn't show anybody touching the screen. That's true. But I feel like touchpads have been Nintendo's claim to fame since the DS first launched. So I feel like it kind of has to be, or at least they're, I don't know, I guess it doesn't have to be. But they'd show it. They probably would show it, but I don't know. They forgot. <laughs> until until anything is officially confirmed, Sure. Um, we don't know. Yeah. So I'm just, I'm, I'm just excited. This looks like a beautiful, beautiful console. Well, let's not. Gone forever about yeah. the console, so... So, pretty much, I think it's great. You think it's an idea. We'll That's see. pretty much it. I will be buying this day release. Maybe GameStop will have pre-orders open today. Because if so, I'm going down there and pre-ordering it so fast. Because I need this in my life. And it looks beautiful. Mm-hmm. And I love it. Mm-hmm. And I thank you all for watching. Let me know down below. What do you think about the Nintendo Switch? Good idea, bad idea, greatest idea of the century? Probably not, but it still looks amazing. And yeah, that's pretty much it for us guys. Like and we'll see y'all next time. Bye.